So here is an overview of the Ozone banking platform. Ozone is exactly like a real banking platform, except all of the data is fictitious and the transactions are not linked to any payment rails, so no actual money changes hands. Ozone also contains a fully working implementation of the UK Open Banking Standard for read-write APIs. The platform is very powerful, and as you can see here, there are two banks set up, but you can set up as many different banks or banking brands as you want within the platform. I'm going to look at the first one here, Modelo Bank. If we go into Modelo, you'll see the details of the bank, together with the OIDC configuration and resource server details. You can also see the well-known endpoint for the OIDC profile here. Within the Modelo Bank, you can have multiple branches, each with their own sort code, multiple customers. You can see there are four here. Again, these are made up customers with their own made up logins and passwords and multiple products. Here we have two different types of current account product. And then under accounts, you can see which customer has got which product. If I go into the first, this is Roberto, one of his accounts. I look at his account. I can see his account details at the top. I can see a list of trusted beneficiaries set up under this account for Roberto. I can see his standing orders, his direct debits, and all of his transactions. Again, remember these are fictitious transactions, debits and credits. We can also see any payments that have come through from a third party provider. And we can see any account requests. These are requests from third party providers for access to the account information. And each of these consents can be withdrawn on the right here. So as you can see, the Ozone platform is very powerful. It looks and works very much like a real bank account, except the data is fictitious and the transactions don't actually go anywhere. And the purpose of this is so that third party developers can build and test their applications against a fictitious bank account before connecting to a real bank account with real payments and real transactions. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this overview.